Hey guys, it's Bailey Littrell on Airwaves. Tune in for this awesome interview. Hey guys, it's Abigail here from Airwaves, and I am hanging out with Bailey Littrell here in Nashville. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? Good. So what is it like for you to be surrounded by all of these amazing artists? Who are you most excited to be performing alongside? Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Besides count. everyone. I can't. Yeah, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> Man, this, this is, like, honestly the craziest thing in the world to be here with all these artists that I've grown up listening to and then the new generation, you know, who I'm inspired by. And so to be performing next to all of them is like the biggest honor. Being here this week, I literally just, we were standing outside trying to get in here and the security dude was showing us a map and then I see the stage that I'm playing on the map and I'm like, Okay, it's real. It's, it's completely real. Yeah, it's here. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's so awesome. It's such an exciting week yeah. for everyone. Oh yeah. Um, so I want to talk about your new single, Boxes. Can Boxes. you tell us a little bit about this song and kind of where it came yeah. from and what it means to you? Of course. Um, Boxes was written by my one of my close friends, Stephen Lee Olson. Um, best dude in the world. He's an artist. He's here this weekend as well. Um, but this song is is a lot different than my first single, Don't Knock It. It's just, it's deep. It it has a lot more meaning behind it. Uh, I think people can definitely relate to this if they're in a great relationship. Um, and if not, it can give people reason to know that they deserve better, honestly. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? He should check off all my boxes, you know? So um, I, I think people really gravitate to this one better than they do Don't Knock It. So far, that's what the numbers have shown. And so... I love how everyone's taken to it so far. I'm really proud of it. Definitely. I think real recognizes real. So when you really open up about those stories and get a little deeper, then people are really going to resonate with people. Definitely. What have been some of the craziest reactions to the song so far, or the most meaningful for you? Hmm. My hometown radio station acknowledged it, and they played it. And I was uh, Kicks 101.5 Artist of the Month in May, and they played it. And that was probably the greatest response I got of the song. And I always wanted to be on Kicks 101.5, always wanted to be the artist of the month. <laughs> and just to get the recognition from my hometown and my home state, that was amazing, especially them playing that song. It's incredible. It's pretty big. I mean, yeah, you know. it's awesome. But you were also surrounded by a lot of musical inspiration growing up. Um, yeah. For those who don't know, his father is in a little band called the Backstreet Boys. Just a tiny band. I don't know if you've ever heard of them. Um, what was it like for you to be surrounded by sort of that musical influence growing up? And how did that inspire you as an artist? It gave me all the tools um, that I honestly need it helped me grow and help me get to this point a little faster than most people and to know what I'm doing um the guys and touring with my dad it's like my four uncles and so for the opportunity to be opening up for them this summer to on their uh world tour get to open up this uh for the states and uh United States and Canadian run and playing Bridgestone I mean so exciting. I'm so excited I mean that's a dream come true so they have given me so many so many tools honestly to build my career and uh my dad has of course and my mom uh both uh managing me right now um it's been the best experience and they've made it the greatest experience and just the opportunity to open up for the guys and be able to go on tour with them and like I have for the you know my whole life my crib was a bunk bed so on a tour bus so this is what not i many know people can say yeah. that they grew up on a tour bus. i mean this is what i know so i'm not scared at all for this i'm so excited i mean, I mean that being said it's a different style of music so right. how do you kind of balance those influences within the country realm you know i grew up listening to country and that was my life and when i decided to become an artist i had to work to get to where i was i just actually uh, said this for the first time yesterday is that my parents had me do vocal sessions for one year before they would allow me to start a musical career. And when we got to that point, I said, if this is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life, I have to be exactly who I am. So I ended up going with country because that's, that's what, that's what I am. And I'm from, I'm a Georgia boy. <laughs> so that, um, you know, I'll tell you, I'm influenced by my dad and the guys, especially when I'm writing songs. Um, and a little bit of the pop flair is going to be in the album, and I hope people like that. It's got that, that vibe to it. But um, I'm trying to start a whole different chapter 
Okay. And what is that whole different chapter? This whole different chapter is the Bailey Literal chapter, and it's hopefully being in country music for a very long time. So, okay. so what does country music mean to you, and what does it mean to you to be in country music? Oh my god, it's like it's like a kid getting to play in the NBA if that was their dream. Like my dream has always been to be here, and to be here and to be accepted so far is all I can ask for, and. There's a lot more to come, and I know it, and I'm determined to get to that point. But if this is all that it is, I'm completely grateful for what I've had so far. And just the acknowledgement that they've given me, it means the world. And I mean, that being said, you have this massive tour coming up. This is so exciting. But what else is on the musical horizon for you? The musical horizon. An album, hopefully late this summer, early fall. I'm still in the process of making, almost done, and been working really hard on this, and I think people are going to really like it, I hope. And other confidential things I can't spill out just yet. It's a little too early. It's a little too early. I can wait, like three months. Give me three months. All right, we'll just have to be a little bit patient here then. Hey, I'm going to start working on another record really soon. I mean, I'm already on Wow, he's already on to the next Um, one, and it's not even out yet. (laughs) Is there anything else you'd like to add? Can you tell people where they can find you, all that good stuff? You guys can find me on Instagram, uh, Bailey Literal No Space underscore music. My music is on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, and a bunch of other things that I have no clue what they are because I'm like the old guy that just uses iTunes. <laughs> All right, you guys, Bailey Literal, check out his new song, Boxes, and subscribe to our channel for more interviews. We'll see you guys soon.